Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and an update video we have for a balance patch that Tarkov did. BSG made some significant changes, not to just loot and spawning, but some martyrs and stuff. So let's get through it, get you up to speed so you know what's going on. Okay, so first up with their balancing changes, they adjusted the loot spawns on streets of Tarkov, increasing the chance of rare loot spawning in locked rooms and decreased in other areas. So uh, it's gonna take a little while to filter through this and figure out exactly what it means. Face value, things like check 15, uh, the Concordia rooms, anything that's locked behind a door is gonna have better loot in it. And the rest of the map is gonna have less loot. As far as opinion on this, I don't know. I have to wait to see how this plays out. This could be a good change, this could be a bad change. It just kind of depends on where everything levels out at. So I'll get some street raids in, I'll talk with some of the guys, the other streamers who play tons of streets and kind of form something and get back to you guys once we have a better idea. Next up is added a chance to spawn Terra Group blue folders materials at various facilities related to Terra Group. So these are the blue folders you need, particularly for a Lightkeeper task. Um, they are pretty pricey. They're a lot cheaper now. So while 7 million is still a big, a big boon, if you find one, uh, they were running 30, 40 million for a while. And you can see they just fell off a cliff right here. I paid 22 for both of mine to do my Lightkeeper task. And now they are, it looks like 6 million and probably gonna continue to get cheaper. I wouldn't sell these right now unless you like really short sell one. Like if I was trying to sell one, I'd sell it for like six, five or six just to get it sold because I think we're gonna keep seeing this price just fall off a cliff. In previous wipes, uh, let's see if I can actually see that on here. Yeah, in previous wipes, they were selling for like four, five, six hundred K. This is this crazy price has only been this wipe. So as far as where to find them, um, Terra Group related facilities, right? I'm, I'm not gonna name all of them because I can't think of them, but uh, for example, on streets up on the north end of the map, you have those Terra Group buildings. There's a couple of locked rooms up there. People have said they found them in there prior to this patch, which means they're probably more likely now. Uh, obviously labs, but this could potentially mean factory even. It just depends on how far into the lore you wanna go and what the the guy that made these changes in the game, whichever you know, an engineer or employee that was, what they in their head saw as Terra Group facilities. So uh, keep an open eye on that. We'll maybe be able to get some updates out later as well. Next one is a huge one for Interchange. They adjusted the loot on Interchange at the Ultra Medical Storage, as well as Kiba Arm Store, added a chance to spawn ballistic plates and relevant items. They are significantly buffed. Now I only went and did an offline raid, so take this with a grain of salt as far as what you're seeing on screen here, uh, because offline raids are not indicative of online raids. They are a little bit, but not great. But I've talked to guys that ran a bunch of interchange last night and yesterday, and they verify this. They're finding, uh, you know, Kib is full of plates and good armor and, you know, sometimes eight or nine guns on the walls, including Sig Spears, which we got here, and Ultra Medical actually has Lettuces in it. The guys found a couple last night that I know um, that I've played with, and I found one here in offline mode. So all good stuff. Now, one of the downsides, I guess that downside, I think 21 W, uh, 21 WS, 11 SR, and then Object 14, which a lot of people aren't gonna know what those are. Those got overlooked as far as uh, loot being buffed or maybe intentionally left out. I don't know. Their loot seems to be the same. There's nothing crazy going on there. So don't, don't get too hyped up and think you can go find loot in those places uh, because it just isn't there. But Kiba is great. Ultra Medical is great, which is going to kind of bring some old school interchange back for people that probably don't remember, maybe weren't around for it. But interchange used to be kind of a wild place for PvP specifically because of these two places. So we'll see how it goes. Another change um, that I'm not gonna be able to check out, I haven't been able to talk to anybody yet, but they said they adjusted the loot in the room open with the rusted bloody key on streets of Tarkov. I don't know if they turned it up. I'm, I'm assuming they did. Um, I haven't been in here since last wipe. I haven't talked to anybody yet that have been in there this wipe since they kind of buffed the key spot up about a week ago. Uh, we'll try to get in there today on stream and see what we get. And then the last one is one that people have been asking for for years years uh is approve the pm speed spawns on reserve to avoid spawning in exposed areas now i'm going to bring up reamer's map he does some of the best maps for tarkov out there and he uh he does them he does them for free and he shares them with everybody uh so make sure you go support him however you can on the various places he is but he already adjusted his map for reserve um and the big ones that i'm seeing that i want to call out is specifically the the two echo field spawns or yeah there's two over here uh, and then there's two over on this side that are no longer there. So no more spawning in the big open fields, but this doesn't mean spawns are gonna be great on reserve. Already looking at this, I see some problems with um, particularly these spawns and uh, maybe the spawns inside the buildings. Um, 
it's gonna really change up how the map flows so just if you're playing reserve and you're a veteran of it you're gonna really notice how things change if you're not it is not gonna really matter that much you're not gonna notice anything different probably other than you just don't spot an open field anymore uh but i i think a good change you're just gonna have to wait and see how this all kind of plays out uh to really have a good opinion on it now the rest of these it looks like there's a bunch of barters in here that are like a big deal right there's tons of barters they added or changed this is primarily around gunsmith stuff. There might be a couple in here that are not, but every one of these that I looked through is related to gunsmith. So basically this just gives you ability to get an item that might not be on, the, or might be really expensive on the flea, or you might not have a lock. It might give you a chance to do it a little bit earlier. So if you're still doing your gunsmith stuff, take a look, there might be more barters than there were before. So uh, all aces there, good stuff. Hey guys, one extra thing, uh, adding this to the video afterwards, I've been streaming for a bit, but there is right now, Killa and Tagilla 100% spawn rate on the mall. They seem to be centrally located. Uh, I've run into them both on the first floor and second floor, but they're right there in the middle of the mall around like Brutal and Mantis and then Jacobs and Jacobs and then the Indian food restaurant. Seems to be pretty much where they're at, but that's not, not it, but they're pretty close to that. So that's in addition to all the other stuff. I don't know how long this is gonna last. There is no like tweet or lower thing like they usually do for events like this, but it is definitely going on and it's made interchange a wild house. So if you're looking to get Killa killed or Tagilla even or do any of the tasks or stuff associated with it, now's the time to do it. But that's that's it, real quick update. Just wanted to get you guys up to speed, let you guys know what was going on, show you a couple little quick clips, uh, but we'll wrap her up there. I appreciate you guys watching. I wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.